This is Peter Kadzik. He's the man currently in charge of Hillary's email investigation at DOJ in regards to the newly found emails on Anthony Weiner's laptop. This cannot be allowed to proceed. The connections to Peter Kadzik, the Clintons, and John Podesta go way back. In the 1970s, Peter Kadzik and John Podesta were classmates at Georgetown Law School. They remain friends and are, are friends today, as you're about to hear. In the 1990s, Kadzik represented John Podesta during the Monica Lewinsky investigation. When John Podesta tried to get Monica a job with the UN ambassador to shut her up about her sexual relationship with then-President Bill Clinton. And he must have done a good job, because John Podesta later described Kadzik's performance in a leaked email as a fantastic lawyer who, quote, kept me out of jail. This is the guy who right now is in charge of Hillary's investigation. Kadzik also represented Mark Rich, a billionaire Bill Clinton pardoned at midnight on the last day of office. A recent document released by the FBI reveals that the pardon was likely bought and paid for with over a million dollars in donations to the Clinton Library, the DNC, and an additional $100,000 to Hillary's Senate campaign. No conflict of interest there. Fast forward to 2015 and we see that Kadzik and Podesta are still cozy together. In May of 2015, Kadzik asked Podesta to give his son a job at the Hillary campaign. That's right, Peter Kadzik, the man in charge of Hillary's email investigation, asked John Podesta to give his son a job with Hillary's campaign. And I'm sure he got the job, because Kadzik was also, that same month, feeding John Podesta insider information on the investigations into Hillary Clinton with no sense of irony at all as he himself used his own private email to send that information. On October 23rd of 2015, the day after Hillary's testimony at the Benghazi hearing, Kadzik had dinner with John Podesta. We can only imagine what they talked about. This is the man in charge of Hillary's investigation. This cannot be allowed to happen. I urge you to share this video with as many people as possible. This information is not going to be on CNN. We have to do the job of the media. It's imperative that this kind of corruption is not allowed to happen in our justice system. This is not about partisanship. These are not wild accusations by conspiracy theorists or Russian spies. This is straight from the FBI itself and the communications of the people involved in their own words. We need to stop this corruption and we need to drain the swamp.